In today's videos we'll be taking a look at the Meteor Mark 8. It's 8.0, probably one of the, the better 8.0s in the game right now. But it's a bit slow and that's one big weakness. Hispanos seem to actually work quite well lately, which is something I, uh, I'm quite happy with. I'm just taking a good look at the LA-15 if he doesn't uh, turn around after me. He's too fast for me to chase, so there's very little reason for me to go after him. I'd rather help the hunter out, as there will be multiple people over here in a second. It's a down tier, so I expect uh, multiple A.0s kind of lagging behind. I see the A5 going a bit vertical for the hunter, probably doesn't see me, so that's my first target. If I miss him, then I can go for the F9, F8 below him. Hunter kills the A5, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. Hunter does seem damaged, so I'm not uh, sure if I can rely on him anymore. Take a look if he is actually hanging or crit. FF, not the hardest kill. Pull him straight. Little burst. And he's dead. F9Fs aren't the most durable planes. Respawners aren't the best guns either, but they get the job done lately, which I'm quite happy with. I used to not fly uh, British at all just because of the Hispanos. I think you can relate. You can see on my on my channel the last time I did, uh, did something British, well except for the attacker last week of course. It's uh, quite a while ago. It's not without reason. Luckily this thing has a lot of ammo, 760 rounds which is quite sufficient. You can get multiple kills with that easily even if your aim isn't the best. It's uh, pretty much the same ammo load as the F100. But these guns shoot a lot slower, so your gun time is pretty pretty high. Which is something you kind of need, because it's so slow. You, you sometimes need to spray when people outrun you. When people just climb away from you. You have a very good performance for an 8.0, but even stuff like the F84G. And of course in the up tiers, they outrun you. And with limited ammo, it's kind of a pain to get them killed. Over here, I want to engage LF-15 as soon as possible. He will out accelerate me at these speeds, he will go faster than me and he will lead us to his pack of friends in the back you can see over there. I have the advantage in the turn, even with 20 minutes of fuel. So I just make sure to keep going a bit vertical to bleed speed and then turn into him, use the flaps as soon as I can. And you can see very clearly that I outturn him quite substantially. And by doing this I made the dogfight go to the other side. Friendly comes in but not much of a problem. I went to the other side so it takes a longer time for me to reach the group of enemies or his friend. He's trying to run towards him. And as now he goes up and he tries to go up. I'm not sure what he tried to do there. I, th I probably tried to outrun me towards his friend but he realized that I'm a bit faster. Or that I'm in gun range I should say. And it got him killed. Well, you shouldn't dogfight with this thing anyways, but that's kind of common knowledge at this point. And now I have some time to, to get my speed back up, because I went away, I turned over into the LA-15 as soon as I could. And now I have quite a bit of time to, to just get my speed up, assess the situation, and take appropriate actions. LA-15 comes in, I was expecting him to go for the F9F, actually, because he's behind me, so I'm not too sure why he went for me. But it's all good. We'll turn with him and keep in mind there's an F84G in the area. And now I see him, just in time that is. Dodge your shots appropriately. Lose the LA15, he's over there, he turns into me. Luckily for me, if he turned away there, I probably would have been energy trapped. Shoot a bit at him, get a crit. Quite lucky, I have to admit. F84 runs away. Look around if there's not a single MiG-17. He is still in the area somewhere, I'm not sure where he is. So I want to check before I went vertical like this, because this is a very... It doesn't matter how hard to use the MiG guns off against the Meteor. I'm going 200 and I'm stalling out, so you know, it's, uh, it won't be the hardest shot. Luckily it was nowhere to be found. F84 coming back, so I want to make sure that I uh, dive quite steep. I need some speed to dodge his shells. He has very easy to use fast firing guns. Just get out of his guns. And this is why you want the ammo. I didn't spray here, but I can't catch him. So I want to make sure that he gets damaged. I shoot a bit more than usual. I have the ammo to do so, I crit him. It doesn't say what, so I'm not even sure if it's actually a good crit or just a, a hit that's called a crit. 
because uh, Wharton likes to do that lately. Just gonna go straight, get some speed up. The FNF looks to be more of a danger for the F84G. So I will just use this time to get my speed back up. Be ready for the MiG-17 that's gonna come in. Of course I can't really do much against the MiG-17 if he flies it right, which is exactly what he did this game. After he passes. He misses, I go up. I was hoping for him to turn with me here, but you know, most people won't turn with a Meteor and they shouldn't. I was hoping for a lucky crit. Maybe get a hit there, I probably should have just sprayed way more. Looking in hindsight, but th this is what he did all game till the tickets ran out. He just, well firstly he climbed to 5 kilometers, sat there for a good 3-4 minutes. And after that he started engaging me. And he just keep going nine, 900 and he'd fly away again, there's nothing I could have done. And I don't want to bore you with that, because that took a good 4 minutes and we won on ticket, so it's a very uh, inconclusive end. Which I don't want to bore you with. So I suggest we just go to the next game. Get that on. Get out of the way. F-84 is uh, kind of scary. I don't actually want to start a turn fight at the start of the game. I just climbed straight in. And now I'm already bleeding my speed to turn an F-84. Of course, all I'm seeing right now is the easy kill on the F-84. So I want to focus on him. But if there was someone right behind him, like that F-9F right there. If he was a bit closer, I was dead right now. Which is something you want to be aware of. You shouldn't start dogfights at the start of the game. And now he goes exactly to where I'm going as well. Which is something I don't want. Because I want some separation. And I realize there are some people side climbing. There's some people uh, going for AI. So what I do instead, which is actually it's a bit of a bold move. I go to their airfield. Trying to go underneath all of them. And this could have uh, gone horribly wrong. I'm not going to uh, pretend that's not the case. But uh, now I see one dot. I'm like, okay, that's fine, one dot. The F9F is hanging above me. So I want to extend the way as far as I can. Because if I start turning with the F9F right now, I will bleed my speed and the F9F will just hose me down. Lost still control, he's dead. Won't be turning after me. He's not a problem anymore. Then I see second dot. Which is what I don't want. F9F broke off, luckily. So... In the end, it all paid off well. All paid out all right. It was a good choice. He pulls in, got a crit. He didn't see me at the start, I, I think, because I went for the airfield. Meteor coming in. I want that thing dead quite badly. It's a dangerous thing. The same fighting the same plane is kind of annoying, especially when there's more around. I already hate it when it's just one on one, but it just gets even worse when you. You also have other people to worry about. I go vertical, I normally wouldn't do this, but the F84G is already crit. So I'm not too scared of him at these slow maneuvers. He's flying away anyways. But the second one's coming back, the one from the start. And I know that he likes to dogfight. As he showed at the start. It's the first thing you do when an F84 is turned with me. But he only has one wing, so I shouldn't worry too much. And he hits me. If he had killed me there, I would have been uh, quite disappointed. That's not the case, so no problem here. He's going to try to land that, and the F-84G is actually quite landable with one wing. So I do want to stay around their base for a little bit. I might even strafe him. Depends on what he does, I just hope he crashes. And so the other dude gets the kill. F-84 coming in, he's crit. And he seems to be quite slow, and I'm going 700. So I do a slight turn and I hope that I can catch him. He's really slow. Might have damaged his engine, I don't know what happened. But I'm catching him very, very quickly now. So I just straighten out. There's no real need for me to climb here. And then there might be a chance that I bleed my speed and I, he gets too much separation. I'd rather get right below him and I pull up as the distance I will gain on him is much superior then. He stalls himself out pretty much. Some potato aim. He's so slow actually that I misjudge all my shots. And then um, Hispanos seem to be a bit bipolar today. But it's alright. I think that uh, at times, especially every 4 g it's, uh, it's a very heavy aircraft. And it's very, the integrity of it is very strong. So 
I don't really mind sparking a bit on it, especially when I'm just shooting the tailpipe and the tail. F84G crashed, which is fortunate, doesn't have to cost me any ammo anymore. So I go to their AI. I've not seen a lot of people, which makes me believe that he's at, their, at our AI. And he is. So we just climb towards him. People that go for AI mostly aren't, uh, well, the best players, if they do it at the start at least. If they go straight for the B29s or straight for the PE8s, they mostly just blind and I can just sit on his ass. Which is exactly what I will do. I, I can spray at him here, but there's still three people alive in the enemy team, or after this one. And there's no reason for me to spray. I want to keep my ammo, I don't want to land. I crit him and I'm on him and he looks to be very determined to not try to reverse me. So I will just sit on him. I'll just wait for the good opportunity to kill him. He's just gonna keep rolling, rolling. And I don't feel comfortable taking this shot. And I'm not in a hurry. Of course keep checking behind me, it's just an AI. But he's just trying to get to his base as fast as he can while, while dodging my shells. And after a while of just not shooting, People stop dodging because I'm not shooting them, he probably thinks I'm out of ammo or whatever. He gives me a good shot, missed the first burst because I'm still not used to these guns. These are the first two games I did. So aim is a bit iffy here and there. But it's good enough, gets the job done. Still have half ammo, cut 4 He's above the base, so I went for him of course. More great aim, just a bunch of hits. He hits me with an invisible gunner, probably the AI. Maybe the first shell that doesn't have tracers yet. Uh, I'm just uh, looking for a reason to validate it. Then just this dude left. And an LA-200. And the LA-200 is something that I don't like fighting in the Meteors. Of course, he has a very big trouble hitting me. But I have a very, uh, very much trouble trying to keep up with him. Because he goes 1100 without a problem. Of course, his retention isn't as good. But he's very tanky. Very tanky actually, it's one of the, the, the biggest tanks in the fighter line in my opinion. Try to push ahead on, get a buff, so a bit sad about that, and he goes up, so I just know this man is going to commit to the dogfight, so I will do the same. I'm not going to let him get on me, I'm not going to let him do anything, I'm just going to turn into him, use my flaps here, of course, to turn over a bit faster. He goes up again, and you don't want to do this versus a meteor. If he has more energy, like if he was going 100 kph faster, he could have easily done this and he would have stalled me out right here. But, you know, he's just, he keeps pulling. He keeps pulling over me, which is not the smartest thing to do. If he had played this any differently, he could have easily clapped me. And that's pretty much game. He is crit, he's diving straight down, trying to outrun me. I try to keep some pressure on him by shooting here and there. And I'm not sure if he actually crit that badly that I couldn't pull out. Or he was so busy looking at me that he flew into the water. But, that's game. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I have the, the voting system in my Discord. So, feel free to join that. Let me know in the comments. Leave me a like and I'll see you in the next one.